Hello everybody, my name is Provis and welcome back to more Democracy 4 in Syndicalist Britain. Actually starting to become more Syndicalist-ish now that we're starting to take over some industries and nationalize. This is pretty cool. So trade unionist membership should be going up. State employee membership is going up quite a bit, so people are going to be working for the state. They are very, very happy at the moment. Uh, actually, state broadcaster, you know, that's a thing we haven't looked at possibly increasing a little bit. Improves foreign relations, interestingly enough. Uh, socialists tend to like it and unemployment goes down. Hmm. That's a thing we might have to consider doing in the future. Anyway, so I've been doing a little bit of reading into the issue of the immigration and illegal immigration. And actually, as of just a couple of weeks ago, uh, the developer of the game was saying that he is going to have to look into uh, the double dipping effect that's taking place from immigration and illegal immigration. Basically being entirely untenable. Like, it's very overstated in its impact, and there's not a lot of very good real-world ways for us to get rid of it in this case. We are having huge issues with um, our wages being depressed, not only from illegal immigration, but immigration itself. Right? So basically, there's no way to get rid of it. Not to this extent, anyway, so far. At least we're certainly trying. But it seems almost impossible to get rid of. And because both are there, it just completely wrecks your country. We're doing well considering, but like, look at this. I mean, what am I supposed to do? Aside from tanking the GDP, and I've never really understood if the developer of the game thinks that most people aren't going to max out their GDP really quickly, but of course we are! If anything, the, 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 the cap is too low! So, like, I don't know. It feels like there needs to be much more effective ways of dealing with this. For example, um, we should have... Let's see, I know that there is an ID policy in this game. There is ID policies. Uh, where can I find that? Is it under Law & Order, perhaps? Uh, ID cards. There it is. But it doesn't directly impact illegal immigration, and it probably should. Uh, also, 48 political capital? Like, uh, what? No, oh, that doesn't make sense. It doesn't make sense. It doesn't make sense. Uh, racial profiling. We could do this deliberately to increase racial tension. Like, there are things we can do to try and get rid of the illegal immigration, but it almost entirely comes down to deliberately making your nation racist. Is that what the developer wants? I don't think so. I think that it needs to be seriously reworked. Oh, a rare earth crisis because tech is going up too high. Oh, good. And foreign relations aren't high enough in order to continue importing more. Good, 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 good. Also, the longer the game goes on, the more likely this is going to happen in the first place. So we're going to have to find a way to deal with that. Unemployment keeps going up. God, why? Freaking immigration, dude. It is a death spiral. Yeah, this needs to be fixed. I know the game's in early access still, but that... That needs to be fixed. Low corruption has been praised. Oh good, liberals, capitalists, and self-employed like this. I have a little halo over my head. That's good. Surplus isn't looking as good anymore because guess what? I can't make much more money and I'm spending almost all of it that I've got trying to get the uh, stinking uh, state companies working. So that's fun. Uh, economy. Rare earth. Can we even do anything about that right now? I remember that being very expensive. Oh look, it's very expensive. <sighs> okay. Um... Right, hang on. Foreign relations. We, we, need, we need to do something about that. Uh, this is international trade. Foreign relations right here. It's not the worst. Um, we're making it worse, though, with our refugee policy and our immigration rules, but I have to because there's nothing we can do about it. Uh, for, uh, foreign aid. Yes. Max this out. Spend money. We're going to have to do that. We have to go for foreign aid to try and get that up there and try to offset the rare earth crises so we can uh, possibly import more. At least until I have enough points to run my own uh, my own uh, rare earth extraction, which is super duper expensive from a political power uh, capital perspective. I hate it. Ah. Okay. Um. What else we want to do? Well, weirdly enough, I don't. Ah. Uh, you know what? Actually, wait. Here we go. What about this? Yeah. 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 We can go for the workers on the boards. We're gonna do this. I don't know if this is the best, but it greatly improves trade unionist membership. Like, by a lot. Like, a lot, a lot. Um, how much do I want to reduce productivity, though? I think we're okay on this front. It's going to reduce the working week further, but we're going to go down this route. Workers are now on the board. <laughs> Can we actually take a look at things like our productivity? Hang on, where's productivity? It's down here. There it is. Productivity is pretty high. Could get better. Um, wages are actually high enough now or something. I think they might be reducing it. Let's actually confirm that that's the case. Right-click here. Yeah, higher wages are going to be reducing productivity because it's too expensive to hire our, our workers. So that's going to be a problem. So the more I keep trying to raise our wages, the more we're going to have issues with our productivity. Right, so we're going to have to find other ways to try and fix this up. Of course, the working week's not going to do me any good, and the workers on boards is going to make this worse. 
Gotcha, gotcha. Good education, though. That helped. Um, hmm. Maternity leave. I suppose we could reduce that. I don't see that being particularly good. Either way, with workers on boards, though, I think we can accept that impact on our productivity. We still will end up having a pretty good economy. If anything, we're going to have a very competitive economy pretty soon. Uh, and in the meantime, our trade unionist membership is going to start going way, way up. Our unions are very angry about our unemployment. Totally understood. Totally understood. What do you want me to do about it? Because unemployment's a bit of an issue right now. Flag burning law. Uh, I'm going to allow flag burning. It's going to upset patriots and make liberals happy. I mean, I don't care about the patriots, though. 10 billion surplus is not great. Fraud on our welfare, whatever. At least unemployment didn't go up this time. We're looking at 75% for our approval rating. 22 political power right now. 22. Well, we need to go for more foreign relations. I'll do that. Um... Unemployment. Unemployment. What are we going to do about the fact that un immigration refuses to go down? It is going down a little bit. It feels like my only option is to basically just go for the complete ban on refugees. Because we can't handle any more. I'm going to do it. Illegal immigration can't get any worse than it already is. And we may hurt foreign relations, but that's one of the reasons I increased foreign aid to try and make that better. And that's all my political power, so let's move on to the next turn. Gosh. <laughs> There's the crisis! Oh, no! Well, that's going to kill my technological advantage. Whoa! Look at that. Yeah, that's no good. That's no good at all. Uh, productivity goes down, GDP goes down, blah, 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 blah. Right. Well, yeah, uh, let's see. I don't remember. Is it Does, does the green... Uh, we'll have to take a look at the green electronics. I feel like there's another policy that can affect this at least a little bit. Internet crime is on the way. Oh, good, because tech is too high. Yeah, it's time to start reducing my technology a little bit. Much as I enjoy this, it is causing serious issues. Um, so, probably tech colleges and grants and stuff need to go down a bit. Uh, and we can save a bit of money doing so. So, we're going to go ahead and reduce this a little bit. And then we are going to go to our... Nope, not that. Technology, tech grants. We're going to reduce this a bit as well. This hurts on a bunch of levels. I hate reducing these. I, I hate the perverse incentives of this game. I understand why they exist, right? The, 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 the developer of the game is trying, and usually does a very good job, of trying to uh, show that there's really never, or it's very rare you find a policy that's like a, a no-brainer. There's always some sort of little feedback loops that have effects indirectly on a whole bunch of different metrics which can have completely unintended consequences. You know, th th those are serious issues. Internet tracking. The increasing capability of large corporations to use customer databases and big data to analyze consumer behavior has led to concerns about privacy. I'm going to ban the tracking. I think that's fine. Capitalists won't like it. GDP goes down. Technology goes down. Internet speed goes up and liberals like it. We're going to try for that and see what happens. Immigration. Okay. Still going down a bit. Refugee policy. It should continue double whamming on this. So we should be reducing this a bit. Unemployment. Still not great. Um, let's see, it's 16 points. How much do we generate per turn? 16. You're telling me I can't spend a single point if I want to get the rare earth mining. Great. No, that's just great. That's so fun. Okay, uh, economy. Let's take a look at other options here. So, what is it? It's the, um, green electronics. This is the one. Yeah, it reduces the rare earth crisis by a fair bit. This is a cheaper solution to help. I don't know if it solves it, but it helps. So we could try for this and see what happens. What's capital controls do, by the way? Restrictions on the flow of capital out of the country. Oh? That would probably be a very good way to um, try to deal with the multinational tax evasion. It's 50 political capital, so it's not happening, but you get you get the idea. Okay. Um, consumer rights. No. Carbon capture. No. Small business, no. Quantitative easing. Way to temporarily boost up the economy, but it does lead to currency issues, because it's, you know, basically just printing money, without actually saying that it's printing money, because that's extremely unpopular. What quantitative easing basically is, the government, pre uh, the government federal bank, or centralized bank, like, presses a button that says, we have another $100 billion, and we spend that $100 billion buying assets like bonds and stuff like that. 
So it doesn't, like, flood the market with money, but it basically just created money out of nothing. Which does reduce the currency strength and increase inflation, but perhaps not quite as drastically, because quantitative easing you can fix by just clicking the opposite button and saying, whoops, the money's gone now, and it's just, that's a thing, right? Whereas if you handed out money to the population, that's now money in circulation you can't easily just take back. So it's a lot easier from quantitative easing to try and stop the inflation, but it's still pretty tough. It's not the best, it's not the best thing in the world. Um, okay, well, I think we are going to buy out the state telecoms, even though it's extremely expensive, and just talk that, tack that onto my debt. Because it is time to continue reducing unemployment, however I am able to. And this is going to peeve off all the capitalists, but I don't care. And trading units membership goes up, and socialism goes up, and more people work for the government. Yay! Who cares about a little bit of debt at this point? Debt's fine. Who's worried? Next turn. Share IPO success. Didn't we get this last time? Because that's uh, a lot more GDP. Good lord. Another situation imminent. Oh, good. Good. Yes. Multinational tax evasion. It actually does look like it went down a little bit. Yeah, it, we, we, yeah, we're reducing tech. So as we reduce technology, that should sort of slightly figure itself out. As long as we don't invest too heavily in that. Education is still fortunately maxed out. That's good. Surplus is not as big as it used to be. The global economy is doing well. My surplus is only... Only that tiny little bit. Seven billion? Yeek. That means when the economy crashes, we're actually going to be in serious trouble. All right, 26 political capital. Let's go to the economy. Let's go to that green... Electronics Initiative. This is going to reduce the rare earth crisis by a lot. Yeah. No, this just seems good across the board for me. It's expensive from a political perspective, but it's very good at reducing electronic waste, which means with that, we should be able to greatly reduce, if not eliminate this. Had I done this sooner, we could have totally bypassed this issue. At least for a good long while. Uh, what else do we want to do? Anything over here? I don't think so. We can make ourselves seem stronger by having patriots and stuff, but, you know, meh. Uh, tech grants? No. Work safety? I mean, we could. I don't really think I want to do this, though. Disability benefit costs? Uh, more pollution controls for the environment? Uh, maybe? The GDP is still maxed out. I think we go ahead and increase this. Yeah. That's going to have to be good enough, I think. Um, so she's very happy now. You're not still. Trade unionists aren't happy enough. Their membership has skyrocketed. Oh, my God. Yeah, be afraid. The trade unions are coming for you. Okay. Well, that's good. This was the goal. This was the goal. Um, <laughs> the more we fix unemployment, the happier they're going to be. This is good. No, no, no. This is, this is very... This is... Wow. Okay. Yeah, they're highly trusting of me. Yeah, this is going to secure me the win every single time. I'm just going to have the grand unions working for me. Why are you upset? Why? Trade unionists like me. Socialists like me, right? Where are the socialists? There they are. Yeah, socialists like me. They're actually the majority of the population now, thanks to my efforts. So why are you complaining, Lori Cook? You shouldn't be. You shouldn't be at all. Yeah, membership of socialism is going way up. This is good. The problem with having lots of socialists is they start asking for lots of benefits, and those benefits are expensive. So I'm going to have to start increasing taxes again at some point soon, because we can't get more from just creating a bigger pie. Nope, that's how this game works. Once the pie is up to a certain size, you can't grow it up anymore. So you're domed. You're domed! Alright, let's go ahead and move on to the next turn. I got one point anyway. Credit rating downgraded. Oh, good. Why? Uh, I'm going to go with because I took on some debt. If we pay off some of that debt, we'd be fine. I have a surplus still. What are you worried about? What are you worried about? Uh, let's see. People don't like the junk food tax. Don't care. Stop complaining. Don't care. Alright, 72% of the vote still. Poverty uh, is not eradicated, but it could, would be benefit from going down. Unemployment trickling down a little bit. Mainly because we're taking over so many industries. I could buy more industries and nationalize, so that likely would e lead to more issues with our debt. Uh, we are slowly trickling down the rare earth crisis. That's good. Technology is not going down very quickly, but a little bit. Automation tax. We could reduce automation um, a little bit, which would probably be good for unemployment. Yeah... This would get me a little money, too. Let's go for a tiny bit right here. Reduce that industrial automation a smidge. What else should we do, though? Um, public services, maybe we want to go ahead and buy out the state water company? Yeah, I think I'm going to go ahead and do that. Let's go ahead and implement this. We're going to nationalize the water industry. 
And there is no longer a private water industry for me, which means we can greatly increase the trade unionist happiness and their membership. Capitalists are unhappy, but who cares because they're going away. We'll get another 4.3% uh, ish of the population to become socialists. State employees, corruption goes up, but I don't mind. And unemployment goes down a lot more. I need to reduce that unemployment and give people jobs. We have to do it. Immigration. Going down to what I would consider reasonable levels again. Illegal immigration, there's nothing I can do. I'm sorry, there's nothing I can do. The only ways to get rid of immigration are to increase illegal immigration as well. But this is helping a little bit. So wages are trickling back up. Because, even though illegal immigration is capped out and maximizing its effects, just reducing legal immigration is fixing it. This is where the caps on these policies end up being a bit weird. You know what I mean? It ends up being very weird. What's our productivity looking like? Are we sort of okay? Whoa! Go oh God, God. Whoa. Ay, 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 ay. It's the tech crisis? Is that what's partly doing it? No. No, it's not. Uh, oh, wait, yes, it is. A little bit. Okay, the rare earth crisis is part of it. Yeah, productivity took a huge drop once I reduced some of these tech grants and stuff. That's bad. Okay, as long as we don't go back down to having an uncompetitive economy, though. But that's going down much faster rate than I would like. So I'm a little bit concerned. A little bit concerned. Uh, adult education, not worried about it. Cyberbullying, we already did to get rid of that. Selective schooling, we could do. That would reduce socialism. We could reduce it. Um, this is only if we want to electioneer our way to victory, though. What's the house full overcrowding looking like? It's pretty consistent, and it's because the demand is still driven by so much immigration. Again, with the double dipping here. I want to reduce technology more. It's just I'm afraid that we're going to lose our productivity if we do that. We could go for more military spending. It's expensive. I don't think that's a good idea. Uh, what are some ways that we can possibly start getting some more money? How do I reduce my expenditure? State pensions. Eh. Not great. Um, this can save a chunk of money. The only problem is it costs a lot of political power to do. But it saves a bit, and honestly, we have so many other socialism-building things, I don't know if I really care. Debt interest, military spending, state schools, the energy company, rail, child benefits. This increases socialism by a chunk. We could increase equality by doing some of these things. Population goes up, too. This doesn't improve, like, wages or income for many, though. It does for parents, I suppose. Somehow I'm supposed to increase the Human Development Index by increasing wages, and I'm, I'm struggling to see a little bit how we're going to end up doing that. Just a wee, wee do bit of a struggle. Because immigration seems to have made that impossible. Also, much higher wages are just dangerous. I'm sorry. Like, it, wages are good. Too much wages, too high of demanded wages and stuff, it just it has a lot of nasty trickle-down effects. You don't want to deal with it. What's my foreign relations look like? You know, surprisingly pretty good, despite the fact that I'm upsetting a lot of people. We have foreign investor tax breaks? Oh, I didn't realize that. Oh. Patriots don't like this, but it does increase a lot of other factors that are nice. Costs a lot, though, because we're giving them tax breaks. Hmm. I think I'm going to save my points. We're gonna go ahead and move on in the next next turn then. Let's see what happens. Internet crime is on the way. Gosh. Well, we're already reducing technology and our internet intelligence services are a thing. Yeah, basically tech is too high. We are too good at technology. We have to reduce it. Good thing I'm not investing more in things like science funding, huh? Ban face recognition in public. Yeah, all right. Technology goes down. See, that's what I wanted to do. I wanted to reduce that. Budget is small, not looking, you know, fantastic. Uh, as soon as the global economy becomes uh, a problem, we're going to have issues. How are we looking with that immigration? Still trickling down. How are we looking with unemployment? Going down. Okay. Uh, with 27 points. What could I do? Well, we could have a state space program. I don't want, I don't want more technology, though. That's not a good idea. Uh, how are we doing with the rare earth metal mining? Did this make a big difference? Okay, it's still going down. It's got a long ways to go. I'm not sure this by itself is going to be enough. I'm kind of thinking we have to keep reducing some of this. Yeah, we've, we've got to keep reducing how much we're funding into technology, unfortunately. So let's go ahead and reduce that a little bit. 
So that'll help, at least with the rare earth metal. The less technology we have, the less of an issue it's going to be. The government subsidies for unions. We didn't do this yet? Oh, we should do this then. Yeah, wages will go up, which is dangerous for my productivity, but it makes all the groups I care about happy. Max those subsidies? Sure! We're going to have huge membership for our trade unions. And, and they're going to love me! This is good. That's not too expensive. Look at this! Look at this! Ah, oh, we're finally starting to shift, uh, shift things in the direction I wanted. This is nice. Socialism membership going up pretty good here, too. Yeah. Yeah, it's pretty good. Not yet able to flip that liberal, though. Um, hmm... I mean, I, I know a lot of people would like me to just go ahead and do the liberal anyway. I understand. I get it. Honestly, it would be better in this case. It really would. Uh, la, 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 la. What could we do? We could... I like judicial ind uh, independence, though. It's reducing corruption. I need my democracy value to still be reasonably good. It increases stability and foreign investment, and... I don't need foreign aid, but... Yeah, we're receiving no foreign aid. I have no issue with that. We don't care about democracy if I'm not receiving foreign aid. Do we? Do we? We can reduce our democracy. What's foreign investment doing for me except for increasing our GDP by a frick ton? And it's already maxed out. Maybe we go to things like our press uh, freedom and we reduce it. First off, where is corruption? There's corruption. Corruption is... Press freedom. There it is. Ah, I can only increase it. Darn it. If I reduce this by a bit... It's super expensive to reduce, though. Gosh dang it. Fine. Um, what else? Okay, marriage. Reduce this a little bit. It's almost a negligible impact unless you go all the way down to none. So this doesn't help me with anything that matters. Um, I don't think abortion law would do me any good either. Yeah, you can't even go down a sm uh, one little step here. You'd have to go all the way down here. Reduces gender equality a bit. Yeah, this doesn't do me any good. Honestly, right here where we are in limited circumstances is one of the better policies. Um... Yeah, we don't have... We don't really have a lot of good ways to reduce liberalism membership, to be honest. Firearms law? I suppose we could restrict guns a little bit more. Patriots don't like it. Liberals don't like it because they like freedom. That doesn't do me any good. We're already reducing the community policing. Arts, I suppose? We could just stop subsidizing that? Uh, we could also try to increase how much people can drink. Or reduce the... Uh, sorry, increase the drinking age. I don't know. It's pretty difficult. I, I feel like press freedom is the only way we're actually going to do this to start restricting our de uh, democracy a little bit. To get that goal. I'm, I'm increasingly believing that I just should ignore the conservative versus liberal thing and say, screw it, it's going to be what it is. The main point was to go syndicalism. Who cares about the culture? Right? Can I do that? Are you guys okay with that at this point? Because it's not that I can't flip liberal. In Democracy 3, right, it was very easy to get enough electioneering policies you could just entirely convert the population from 100% liberal down to 100% conservative in the course of, like, eight years. In Democracy 4, it seems to be a bit harder. And I don't think I'm ever going to get these guys to cease being, like, my total, uh, or cease being the popu uh, most popular group. And I don't think it really matters, because at the end of the day, what matters to me for this playthrough was trade units, state employees, and, um, socialists. Which we're doing well. Right here. These three. I, I think we don't care anymore. Honestly. You guys have been yelling at me for it for long enough. I think I'm just going to finally cave and say, screw it. Who cares about the conservatives or the liberals? I'm just going to ignore it. As long as you all are in a union, I don't care what you believe. How's that sound? Does that sound okay to you? I think that sounds okay to me. All right, good. Well, in that case, we're going to go ahead and end this video right along over here. Thank you all very much for watching. I do hope that you enjoyed. If so, then I would ask you to hit that like button, leave a comment, and subscribe. Give me some advice if you know of other ways to get rid of immigration, because aside from making everyone racist, I don't really know what to do. <laughs> and I will see you guys next time. Bye.